Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, this is my second video of my f f Facebook interview pre preparation. I got an interview chance from Facebook, which is will be held in June. So I'm starting to search on the internet for some materials and uh, look some look for some possible uh, uh, interview questions. So this is my second second one on Elite Code. Uh, today, let's take a look at number 1269, number of ways to stay in the same place after some steps. Wow, the title is long. We have a pointer at index 0 in an array of size array length. At each step, we can move one position to the left, one position to the right, and one position to the same place. Wow, this gives us a hint of recursion, right? Okay, the pointer should not be placed outside. Okay, we're given two integer steps and array, return the number of ways such that your pointer still at index 0 after exactly steps. steps. So snaps are too large, return the module of this. Okay, suppose there's an example. Suppose we have an array of 2, like uh, this. We have 3 steps. Of course, we can just keep all stay like, like this. Or we can just stay here, and then move to the right, and then move to the left. Or Move to the right, stay, move to the left. Right? And, uh, or right, move to right, and move to left, and stay. So, how many uh, ways are there? Well, this is kind of reminds us of a, a problem that um, move uh, from a top left point to the top bottom right left of a grid, right? So, either you could move right or to the left. So how many ways are there? Yeah, that's kind of dynamic programming problem. Let's see, let's uh, increase this problem to uh, 3. This will help us understand, I think. So, to the last point, to the last move, we have three possibilities. Stay there, or or move right or left, right? So, if like we, t we are taking n steps here, if the last step was stay, it means we will take uh, steps minus one step to move to it. Or if last one is moved to the left, then we say we need to move first move here, right? And then last would be move here. So the possibility would it be stay here for at least one step, one step less, or to the right, one step less. So we can do this recursively. How we can move to here with one step less? Well, it's the same. Well, one step less will already be there, or we one one step less, and we already be here. We can move from left to right or right to left, right? Well, it's clear to us this is a recursion. We'll say to walk. So what's the par what's the pr parameter? Yeah, the parameter would be how many steps we use and uh, and uh, where we're gonna go, right? The target will be zero, but during our calculations, we have we have we we need to uh, some intermediate result to walk to a specific index with the steps. So, well, this is the index. I say i. The result would be walk to uh, with steps and uh, to zero, right? Okay. Now, so for, how can we walk to these? Index. Well, there's a three possibilities, right? So it will be uh, the, the walk returns the possibilities. So the first we will walk n minus one step to i itself, and we stay there, right? Cool. And then we walk to we n minus one step to the left, and walk. And minus one step to the right. So each time we will, each time we will reduce n to n to n with uh, reduce n with one, right? So finally, n will be zero. If n is zero, when n is zero, there is only one possibility that i will must be at the first uh, the index 0. So we return i equals 0, then we have it's possible, only one possibility, 
but if not, it's zero, right? Re Notice that the array length doesn't doesn't we, we don't we don't we don't use we haven't used that yet. Array length means the uh, array length means that we cannot move any move index out of the range, right? So the index if index is out of the range means it's smaller than zero or i is bigger than array length minus one it's invalid so we cannot move there return zero wow it's a recursion function and uh, i think we're done so it actually it's already resolved let's run code oh of course we have array length is still not defined Yeah, let's submit. I think we're gonna meet TLE because this naive recursion always cannot wouldn't pass. Well, naively we can calculate the time naive recursion. So the call of walk will generate three times the n minus one, and it will generate another three, right? So time big O is less space uh, space actually will be the call stack so it's actually will be O big O N well the way to improve recursion what is that yeah you can tell me that uh, it should be memoization. Let's just re me memo memoize it. This is not a duplicated calculations, and uh, we can just improve that. All right. So we create a cache, and the key would be we just use n. I okay so if this already ca calculated we just return it and we catch the result wow let's run the code it should pass yeah Oh, the output is too big. Ah, we forgot we to calculate the module of this. Sorry, it's my bad. We can calculate it here. Cool, we accepted, but we are only faster, uh, thirty percent faster than all the submission. Uh, we, let's calculate the uh, the time and the space. The space is simple. These are still a call stack of the recursion, so it's linear time, near, and about time. Uh, for about time, each time it will each key. I mean, each key will actually be calculated twice, right? Uh, not twice, but once. So actually, the 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 call, the times of walk being called, is actually the key. Uh, I made a mistake. The space of the call stack is a linear time, but the cache actually use n times i, right? Should be n uh, steps array length. So it should be like this. And also the call, the time is, uh, walk is called is the same as the space. So yeah, it should be like this. While well, we were still a little slow, how can we do that? Mm, let's try to improve that. There is one observation is that uh, Actually, we consider if like we are having, if we say 
we are accept we are given uh, steps like this. If we go to the straight to the right, we need to go back to zero, right? So actually, the range is much smaller than this array length. Let's say if array length is very big, but step is small, it will generate a lot that good result. So actually, I'll say it's math. It should be the the range should be minimum of okay the max it can maximum go to yeah it should be math math floor steps divided by two, right? This should be improved the time. Uh-oh, I got a mistake. Wow, wow. What? If like three, the length would be, uh, okay, it should not be floor, it should be seal, my bad. Like for three, maximum is two. Go one, yeah, because we're getting the length, not the index, not the step. Step, we move one step, but the index is two. Yeah, submit. Uh, still, we're not hmm? getting the right result. Like four? It's like if we get four, we can move two, so the index should be, ah, my bad. It should be plus one also. If that's the case, I think it should be a floor. Floor plus one is right. Hmm? It's still wrong. Hmm? What? Seal? Four, it should be a maximum index length. Yeah, the point length. If four, it should be three. Yeah, this is right. For three, it should be two. So I think this is right. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start here. Let's just uh, if you seal, would you pass? Still fail. What? Well, it's still, it still doesn't pass. Wait, wait, wait. The original solution is like... Ah! God, God. It's floor, but I should be bigger than minus one. Oh, it doesn't change the time. Mm, how could we improve? If it's bigger than this, so... But this is the target length, right? That's uh, floor steps. But actually, if we have walk, so for n steps, we actually cannot get the steps. So we can get actually calculated some more here. Would this be better? Oh, uh oh. Hmm. 
How could we improve this? Ah. We forget to set the result of this, right? Return uh Set key to zero. Const results equals this. Return result. Hmm? Oh, result. Ah, uh, still not no improvement. Mm. I think the the idea here is should be right. I mean, for n step, if we want to move to i, if i is bigger than ah, oh, I see. If i is bigger than oh, I see. So. We don't. We oh, there's no half. We just move them, move to it. Math, main, n. So now uh, n step, it should be n step. It should be n plus one index. So then to be index, which minus one. Yeah, it should be right. Ah, uh, still not the improvement. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, I'm stuck here. But yeah, let's just skip it. So this is the best I can think of. Uh, the interviewers might always want us to rewrite the recursion to iteration. So let's try to do that. As we did in this recursion, the key will be n to i. It means uh, we move n step to i, and the i would be anything bef between uh, 1 to the array nth, right? So we, we initialize the array, and uh, to remain we need to calculate uh, walk zero and i, right? Zero, one step, zero to step to all the array length. And then one, one step to all the index of array length. And then do that again, over and over again. During, in the recursion function, we can see that we only use n minus one. That means that we only need to keep track of last last batch uh last last result last round result there's no need to keep the two dimensional array we can actually use one dimensional array one dimensional array but maybe that's a that's a trick that we should uh should not not should not show show to the interviewer at the first at the beginning 
Well, for this uh, video, I will just do that. So we say nums equal array. We initialize them to zero, but zero for zero step, it will stand at uh, zero is index of zero. So the first one should be one, right? And then we we iterate for steps. Uh, each time you will recalculate the nums. And we will recalculate it. How can we recalculate it? Well, it's simple as what it did here. It's just it's just that. So new nums i. No, 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 no. For each number. So for a j equals zero. J smaller than. Well, it's the same here. Uh, we'll improve that later. Okay, so we. First, we traverse through all the uh, numbers. New numbers j would be, well, the, the number itself plus the previous number plus uh, the next number. For the, for the head and the rear, we just use the or method, use the uh, b twice or, not b twice or, the default, num default operator. Why is that default operator? I don't know. Okay, so it should be nums j, right? We mean to stay or nums j minus one. I think you sh this should be used, but I don't. I'm not sure it. The, the JavaScript's the net code supports this yet. Let's try anyway. So we have updated it, updated it, and uh, and we will set the the nums to new one, right? It should be let. And finally, return nums uh, zero. It means how we can uh, move to how many ways we can move to. Index zero, right? We run the code. Of course, it, this is not supported. So, yeah, we use default, a short circuit operator, and we, we and I forgot to update the module. Maybe. Run the code. Yeah. So actually, for this iteration time, it's the same as the memoirs though, of version. The space, ah, space is better, right? There is no cost stack, and uh, we only use only only use one array to store that. So space is improved. Wow, the time limit exceeded. Uh oh. Uh. Usually this does not happen, and uh, we analyze the input. The array length is way bigger than the steps, right? So, actually, a lot of calculations is meaningless because it will always this. It is no need to be calculated. It's always be zero, zero, zero. So for that case, I'll say the length array the j should be stopped at what because i is a step so we use this right small j move to j is the length of the num nums And, uh, okay, so actually, uh, the we don't need to generate all the array length, right? 
because we can go to the far right and then go back. This is half of the length for steps at most. We, we don't need to track that. So, yeah. Actually, it should be math floor steps two plus one. So this should be minimum of them. And uh, especially for here, it should be I, right? I mean, J is zero. J should move to length, but we cannot move to length if I is small enough. So if I is one, we should move to one. Zero, because it starts from zero. Uh, I is the step. It actually would be I plus one. Yeah, this is true. Let's run code. Submit. Hmm? It's only if we improve this, but it's only slower than most of the solutions. Wow, I don't know why. Hmm? What? Is that, could that be possible? Wow, this is weird. Let's try submit again. But I think there is not, uh, uh, no more improvement I can think of. Length, ah, bad, it should be length of this. Okay, we're faster than 85%. Hmm, so this reminds us that when, when the uh, dynamic programming depends on the, two, basically depends on the two-dimensional array, there might be a lot of calculations we, which is not optimal to our requirements. We can, we can, we can short circuit uh, a, a far more than the regular uh, condition. If you see here, we can just uh, we can stop earlier, and this will could be just uh, stop earlier according to the characteristic of the problem. Not too logically, but uh, semantically, uh, about uh, uh, how to say semantically. Anyway, we have done this problem. Hope it helps you. Uh, I've learned a lot, of, learned a lot of a lot from this problem. The first one is that uh, every time we could do something with recursion, we always want to look at the last element, right? Sometimes, all, uh, in most cases, the last element there will be several uh, fixed possibilities of that, so we can analyze and then uh, deduct a recursion solution, and then we try to fix that and improve that by memoization. And then, at last, we will rewrite it uh, with the dynamic programming, with iteration. Yeah, not, um, a dynamic programming is not, not necessarily all memoization, right? Dynamic, dynamic programming sometimes is very, is very uh, uh, tricky, especially when you cannot detect a, detect a like, uh, simple uh, memoization, but there are some other tricks like you need to keep two kinds of different, or two or more different kinds of intermediate results. That is the time that it's not recursion, but a very clever dynamic, real dynamic, dynamic programming way. But for most cases, memoization, uh, dynamic programming is all, all, all about uh, memoization. So uh, that's all for this problem. So uh, uh, see you soon. Have a good night.